Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Steve, Kilted and Bearded, and I'm going to do a follow-up review on the Kiltman Pub Kilt and the Utila Kilts Workman. Now, I've had these kilts for about seven years. I've already done reviews on either one of them, so I'm not going to go through the features. All I'm going to do is tell you about what I wear them for, uh, some of the advantages, disadvantages, and then which one has held up the best, which one you get, you know, a little bit more bang for your buck, right? So we'll start out with the more popular, you know, the Utila Kilts. They're a, a pretty good, well-known brand. And uh, they're popular for a reason. You know, they're a phenomenal kilt. The craftsmanship is top shelf. I mean, really a great utility kilt. And this, you know, this kilt's a workman. I mean, it's designed for work and it's designed to hold up to the rigors of whatever you need to do on the job. Now, this one, you know, I wear it quite often when I'm doing little projects and stuff like that, and occasionally out fishing and hunting, but uh, because of the price, you know, of $260, I'm, I'm a little, I'm not really careful with it, but I'm not going to go all out and trash it. But seven years I've had this, thereabouts, you know, give or take. And it's held up very well. I don't have any rips. None of the stitching's coming out. Seams are holding together well. The pleats are all tight. Nothing coming apart. I do have uh, two little teeny holes. I got one right there in the pocket that's worn. And I got another one starting right there. And I believe, yeah, I got one that's just starting to fray right here. But seven years and I you know I use my kilts I don't just wear them once in a while I wear them every day and for that to hold up with what I do with them you know it, it says a lot about the quality now you know I like the pocket design on this I like all that as far as function goes it's, it's fantastic I don't like the switchback on it this just kind of makes me nuts, especially on the inside, you know, where you got your overlap here and where it ties. It just gets a bit uncomfortable for me, but, you know, it's a minor little detail. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I do conceal carry, so where a kilt fits around my midsection, that's important to me because I appendix carry. So if I have a kilt that runs up around the navel, I have a hard time carrying there and I have to carry on a, you know, outside the waistband holster, which I'll do if I have to, but I prefer my appendix carry and I can do that with either one of these kilts. The Utila kilt rides just a little bit higher than the kilt man. The kilt man is more like a hip hugger, like a pair of jeans, you know, down on the hips. So a little bit more comfortable to appendix carry with this one than this one. And the pockets on this, are fantastic you know they've got plenty of room in them but the kilt man excels you know that's where it does its best work is in the pocket area I mean you can interchange pockets and all that but got these kilts about the same time about seven years seven years ago and this kilt is the one I wear when I'm out on the desert hiking or hunting or out up in the mountains Lots of brambles, lots of red rock down here in Utah, and real abrasive, wears on your kilts. I've wore out some other, uh, I won't name name brands, but uh, I've wore a couple of those kilts completely out in no time at all. And these ones have outlasted, let's say, you know, three of those kilts. You know, the Pakistani made kilts, uh, I forget what the fabric or the whatever it is the synthetic but yeah these these kilts will outlast at least three of them and uh, this kilt the kilt man the pub kilt it's taken the most abuse out of all my kilts I, I wore it more out in the bush and in more you know abusive for the kilt situations so Similar materials on the two, I think, in fact, I think they're pretty much the same as far as the weight of the duck cloth cotton. 
And uh, this one is showing a little bit of wear right here around the pocket, the slant pocket. It's got a little bit of wear in there, but nothing major. I mean, just normal wear and tear. Um, around these pockets, starting to get a little bit of a fray on the edges. And right here, there's a wear point. There's a piece of metal in here where your pockets clip together. And over time, it's just starting to wear. But, like I said, seven years and it's taken a beating and that's in and out of side-by-sides and rubbing on the console. So, can't complain about that at all. Back pockets, no wear and tear there. Not getting any holes, so I don't have to worry about my wallet falling out. The pleats are holding up very well. The seams, nothing's coming undone. The stitching is great on it. Um, got a little, little hole right here. But, you know, that's from carrying my knife right there. Rubbing back and forth on there. I got a, a heavy rivet on my, my knife that I carry there. And that's probably what that's from. But belt loops are holding up, you know. I love these double belt loops on both of these. Riveted together, so I'm not going to fall apart on you. And this kilt runs about, I think they're 140 right now on Kiltman's website. And these ones are 260 on Utila kilts. So for the difference in price and the durability between the two, um, if I were going to recommend a kilt, if you were going to go out and just, you know, do construction work, or if you're a hiker or a hunter or a fisherman, something where you're out in the outdoors and you're out in the brambles and the sticks and you want something that's not going to snag and rip, um, I would go with the kilt and kilt. You're, you're paying a lot less and you get the same durability you do with the Utila Kilts Workman, but at a lot, much lower cost. And you have the added benefit of interchangeable pockets where you can mix and match and pick what's right for you. Now, if you like, I don't know how you like your kilts to fit. Some guys like them more traditional up around the navel. Some guys like them lower. Now you can see between the two, the kilt man is just a touch shorter with the same drop. The reason is, when you put the kilt man on, the kilt man rides, you know, here's my, here's my belly button. The kilt man rides down here like a pair of jeans. The utility kilt rides up closer to the navel. Or, you know, some people wear them down lower, but with the drop that I ordered, you know, that's about where it fits, where it comes center kneecap. So, same drop, but one's a little longer than the other. And that's just due to where it fits on the hips. So, the only complaint I have, and the Utila kilt's a little bit better for this one, and you'll, you'll, go, you'll have this with duck cloth no matter what, is the fading on it. The Utila kilt has held up much better than the kilt mat, as far as that goes. I've actually dyed this kilt, I think once or twice, because it has faded quite a bit. It's uh, actually a shade darker than this Utila kilt, this color here, when you get it. But, like I said, it is old, and it, it's, it's taken a beating. Well, you can see there's the original color. And here's what we're getting to now. But, a lot of wear and tear, a lot of sunshine, a lot of dirt, a lot of grime, lots of washing, so they're bound to fade out a little bit. Uh, these two kilts, I brought these ones out in particular because these ones are the ones I've abused the most and I wanted to, and they're two of the more popular designs. I do have a stump town in the duck cloth that uh, I'm going to put a few more miles on it before I do a review on it. So far, it's holding up great. And uh, I have an angry bastard 
that um, I've had almost as I got a, about a year, maybe a year and a half after I bought these two kilts. And I mean, that thing's bulletproof. I mean, I don't think you could wear it out if you wanted to, but you can't get them anymore. So I didn't throw that one into the mix just yet. Maybe I'll do one on it later. Um, next video I'm going to do, I'm going to do a breakdown of all of the utility kilts or not utility kilts, excuse me, the utility kilts from UT kilts, Stumptown, Angry Bastard, utility kilts, uh, kilt man, who else do I got? Sport kilt and uh, tactic kilt. Throw all those into the mix and I'll tell you which ones I like the best and what the features are on that I like and whether I'd recommend them or not recommend them. So anyway, that's these two kilts. Uh, like I said, kilt man pub kilt for the money. Can't beat it, honestly. Utila kilts, phenomenal. If you want to spend the extra money, go that way. If you don't, kilt man's a great option. So uh, hang free, kilt on, and be good, my friends.